Would you like to know how contrast ratio is measured? No. But we did say there was a part two, so knock yourself out. The checkerboard or ANSI test method is more realistic than full on off because the device has to produce black and white at the same time. The on then off measurements check the ratio of black to white, don't they? Yes, but not at the same time. So if the contrast of a projector is enhanced by an iris, like one found in a camera, closing with black and opening on white, it's not as effective when tested with the ANSI checker board because the iris changes the whole image. Or put another way, it can't make just one square brighter. Simple. So the ANSI measurement is closer to what the light engine can do, without enhancements. You also measure the average, for the whole viewing area. The readings for each section, are added together. The full on off method, also known as, dynamic testing, measured in dynamic mode, is not so precise. Dynamic is not designed for dark cinema rooms, they use this measurement because the numbers are big numbers, to print on a box. You mean not as precise as a native measurement? You've done that joke already. However you got it, the big CR. Numbers look better on the box. So contrast ratio is the ratio between the two measurements in brightness, i.e., white, measuring 50,000 and black measuring say 10? Would be 5,000 to 1, contrast ratio. Right, and the brightness measurement is called lumens. But let's touch on brightness, and show why that's important if there is light in the room. Lumens. Our video is about contrast ratio, please, don't confuse me. Contrast perception is also dependent on brightness. So? So, let me give you one simple example. Even the toaster. Got it. You're in with a chance of understanding also. Look carefully at the image. How many shades of grey do you see? Is this a trick question? There are two. Actually there is just one. When you remove the surrounding image you can see this. Now they look the same. How come? Perception. How we perceive images, depends on the image's surroundings. This is where brightness comes in. In a dark room I like to turn the brightness down. True, it's also easier on the eyes. Can you concentrate on my point though? Sorry, you were saying. If you make the bright portions of an image brighter, the dark parts seem darker. This is how it's possible to perceive black on a white screen in a room with lights on. A projector does not project black, so seeing it in this example depends on perception being manipulated, with brightness. If there is not enough brightness for a given amount of ambient light, the picture will seem washed out, back to contrast ratio. It is important, especially in a dark home theatre room, but you need to read the fine print, and be aware of times when brightness, is far more important. Is that the whole story on contrast ratio? Please tell me you're finished. Now, we have no time for you to start ranting about 3D. There is a bit more. For example, the distance you sit from your screen will. Will you please contact HOT when you're ready to buy if you need more information? As my memory bank is full. Is that where the toast goes. Goodbye, for now. From hot. Dot com, dot au.